Hello, Jay from Broadnet here. So this is the BN110. Uh, this is fast becoming our most popular handset. Um, this screen here that you can see right now is the launcher. Uh, on the side, you've got your PTT, you've got your SOS, and your volume control here with your antenna. Uh, if you choose to have a drop-in cradle, it will charge on these ports here, uh, or you can charge via USB right there. So into the software then. Uh, to enter Broadnet software, as with all our handsets, you just press the hash key uh, and this will give you a list of options. If you do want to have our launcher so it locks out everything else, you just need to press this and it will download the launcher. Right, so setting up your handset, you go here and you type in your network ID, which you will get from the Broadnet portal. Um, if you don't know where to get your network ID, then watch one of our tutorial videos and it will tell you how to do that. Once you've done that, you type in your network ID uh, and then you press done. It will then set it up for that. Um, you've got your users in here. Uh, so if you press that, it will give you a list of options that you can do with these users. Um, if you press it again, you can either send a private message, point to point, you can page, or you can summon to the talk group that you're in. Um, at the moment, they're all in the same talk group, but if you were, uh, for instance, on a different channel, uh, it would then pull that user to the channel that you're on. Up here, you've got your CADs. Uh, this is where you would retrie retrieve your incidents. Um, there's no incidents assigned to this handset at the moment. Um, so it won't be able to retrieve them. This is your repeat button. This one here will repeat what was the last message. Uh, so the last transmission that the radio picked up, it will then repeat that. On here, you've got your text buttons. You can either send it to CAD or you can send it to another user. Uh, channel select is in here, two channels there, uh, one and two. Um, here is your statuses and other stuff. Um, so you've got self-deploy. What this does, um, self-deploy, if you press that, it will generate a CAD and send it back to the handset for you to accept. Uh, the controller can then see that you've self-deployed and you can update notes or the controller can do that. You can set yourself available, busy at scene or clear scene, put yourself under arrest, or you can get any outstanding jobs uh, or CADs or instance. Uh, checkpoints is um, if you are on a guard route, uh, for instance, if you're a security company and you have our QR code set up around different premises, you can scan them and it will then plot it on a map for you. Uh, this one here is a request to talk. Um, if you want to talk to a controller, it's not mega urgent, but you do need to talk to them. You can press that and it will send a message to CAD to say, can you call this handset back? Upload photo uh, pretty much does what it says on the tin. You can send it to everyone. You can send it back to CAD. Um, and the final option on there is dial phone. Now this, pretty stem standard. Just type in a phone number, press OK, and it will dial that phone number. Uh, this is the BN110, uh, full touch screen, available now from Broadnet.